everyone. I'm Albert Tricasso of Humanity Matters. And yesterday, <laughs> a young lady asked me a rather interesting question. She said, if you're in a vehicle and you're driving and you want to text, <laughs> is it all right to text? Well, you're at a red light. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you what. I could give her about a three-hour lecture on why it's not. But, <laughs> now let's think about this for a minute. Let's think about this for a minute. You're at a red light, and you're going, How are you going to see the red light? If you go, you know what's going to happen? Somebody's going to beep you or somebody's going to get mad. And the answer is no. When is it ever okay to text while driving? When is it okay to text while driving? You really want to know the answer to that? How about never? That's right, never. Never text while driving. And never drink alcohol while driving. And guess what? Don't be eating while driving and only have one hand and sometimes in the case no hands on the wheel. Let's get this straight everybody. So that anybody gets a little bit confused, you're driving. Okay, now maybe you're a passenger. You might be alright with texting if you're a passenger in the right hand side or in the back. But don't be bothering the driver saying, yo, you gotta see this text. Shut up. I'm sorry, but shut up. Wait till you parked. <laughs> no offense, but shut up. Just wait. Your text is not that important. And if you got a boyfriend that gets mad because he sent you a text and you didn't answer him right away or he's real jealous, get rid of the idiot. Excuse my language. He matters because you mad he matters. Get rid of him. Because if he's worried about the text instead of you, you don't need him. Same thing with a woman. Woman that bad? You got your wife or your girlfriend or something? If they're that bad, say, I'll see you later. Because your life is more important than that text, that drink, that phone call, you name it. Now, the Bluetooth, the hands-free battery. Let me tell you something. It may be hands-free, but it's not distraction-free. It may be hands-free, but it's not brain-free. So as long as... As you need your brain to drive to see if you're driving correctly or if somebody else is not driving correctly and you want to stay alive, what you need to do is put your hands on the wheel and your eyes looking at the road and drive. That's what you're doing. Because here's the thing. You are driving a deadly weapon. And let's never forget that. It's a deadly weapon. Now, let me ask you a question. Let's say you believe in God. Just say you believe in God. So you get killed because you were driving while texting while driving. So you get killed because you were texting while driving. So you get to heaven and you're chewing out with some new people up there and they're like, by the way, how did you die? Uh, excuse me, but um, I was texting while driving. How embarrassing is that going to be? You died because you was texting while you were driving? Come on now. Really? You really want to go to heaven or wherever you go and be like, yeah, I died because I, I couldn't wait five seconds or a minute or an hour. Because I had to go text while I was driving. Come on now. You're smarter than that. So the answer is no texting while driving, no phones while driving. Now here's the thing. Sometimes those calls do come and they're very, very important. Well, if you have somebody with you, tell them to answer the phone. And if you don't want them to answer the phone, let the phone ring. Let the text go beep, 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 beep. Who cares? Your life matters. No driving and texting. No cell phones and texting. What do I do? Am I guilty of talking on the phone while driving? You're dang right I am. Sometimes I'm stupid. Sometimes I'm so stupid like I did it. Ooh, shoot, that hurt. Yeah, I really did. And yeah, it really hurts. Like the old Three Stooges. It hurt. Believe that. That hurt. Sometimes I'm stupid. But 98% of the time, guess what I do? Here Annette, get the phone. That's right, I pass it off to Annette. Sometimes she wants to kick me in the brass. She's like, I don't feel like talking. I'm driving here. I gotta watch the road. Thank you very much. I 
I'm not Jimmy Fallon. I'm <laughs> just being honest. Hey, I'm an honest sucker. But that's the truth. I hand the phone. I tell them to get the phone. In fact, I don't even hold my phone. It's in my, like my soda container holder, whatever you want to call it. Money container, whatever you want to call it. You know the part in the vehicle. So that's right. Because life matters. You matter. My life on the road, your life on the road. So I'll be doing that stuff, all right? I know it's tempting, especially like you're 15, 16, 17, 18. You got a bunch of girls, your, your homies in there, your girls are in there with you. You're like, yeah, I'm going to check this guy out and all that. It's not worth it. I'm sorry to tell you, your life is more important than that text. And this goes for the business people, because all these so-called mature people, they're guilty of it too. They might lie to you. Your parents done it. And your parents' parents may have done it. Don't do it. It's stupid. In fact, I won't say that it's stupid. But if Forrest Gump was a real person and they saw you do it, they'd be like, life is like a box of chocolates, but you must have got chocolate because you didn't get no brains. He'd be like, you didn't get no brains. You must have got some of those chocolates and, and God forgot to give you a brain. Because you're stupid. Or more like, he'd be like, you know, you stupid. I, 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 I know that's kind of mean, but no. No texting. No texting. No texting. One more time. No texting. And for those of you that don't want to wear a seatbelt when you're in a vehicle, let me catch you not wearing a seatbelt. And you'll be like, oh, heck no. Because I'll get on your last nerve. I'll get on your nerves so bad, you'll be like, can I go to the nearest hospital and get a nerve transplant? Yeah, that kind of messed it up a little bit. But you'll be like, can I go to the nearest hospital? I need a nerve transplant. That guy got on my last nerve and his comb over in his loud mouth. But that's all right. Because you see, I'm thinking about you, your life, my life, and yours. And don't you forget that. Now, in the meantime, I got something to tell you. No more texting while driving, or I'm going to call you a DWOB. And you don't want me to call you a DWOB. You probably like, what's a DWOB? You don't want me to call a DWOB. What is a DWOB? Driving without brains. You don't want to be that person driving without brains. Because if you're driving without brains, I might just cuss you out. And it won't be G-rated. Sorry, but I am after all Cecilia. And yeah, sometimes I got a mouth on me to make Eddie Murphy cry. But in the meantime, everybody, remember something. Remember that you and humanity and all forms of life matter.